Luhansk's exiled governor Serhii Heide said in an interview with Ukrainian television on Sunday that Ukraine had launched a strike on a hotel in the city of Kadivka, west of the region's main center of Luhansk. Photos posted on Telegram channels showed a building largely reduced to rubble. Members of Russia's mercenary Wagner Group have reportedly been killed following an attack by Ukraine's armed forces on a hotel where many were based in a town in the Russian-occupied Luhansk region, according to the region's Ukrainian governor. Ment and Reuters news agency could not independently verify the information. A section of Ukrainian media quoted local officials as saying the hotel had been closed for some time while Russian state news agency TASS said on its Telegram channel that a hotel in Stakhanov, the Russian name for Kadivka, was destroyed by a Ukrainian HIMARS missile attack and rescue workers were clearing rubble, according to a local official. I am sure that at least 50% of those who managed to survive will die before they get medical care, he said. This is because even in our Luhansk region, they have stolen equipment. Heyde has previously reported strikes by Ukrainian forces on other targets in Luhansk region, including on the Wagner headquarters in the town of Papazna in August. The Wagner Group, a brutal fighting force of mercenaries with the goal of furthering Russia's military interests around the world, operates in Ukraine, Syria, Libya, the Central African Republic, and Mali and has been accused of numerous rights violations, including torture and killings. Controlled by Yevgeny Prigozhin, a close ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, Wagner opened its first official headquarters in the Russian city of St. Petersburg in early November. The European Union has accused Wagner, whose members are mostly former service personnel, of human rights abuses in the United States and EU have sanctioned Prigozhin over his role in the group. In 2021, the EU said the Wagner Group was responsible for abuses, including torture and extrajudicial killings. On Sunday, the body of 23-year-old Zambian student Lemakani Nirenda, who died while fighting for Wagner in Ukraine, arrived at Kenneth Konda International Airport in the capital, Lusaka. Russia has also informed Zambia that money owed to Nirenda by Wagner, together with all the documentation relating to his amnesty, recruitment and death, would be handed to a Zambian representative who would accompany the body, the minister said. Zambia will work to ensure that nothing like this happens again to a Zambian studying in Russia and that there are no other Zambians in Russian prisons, said Kakubo. Zambian Foreign Minister Stanley Kakubo said on Friday that Russia's Foreign Affairs Minister Sergei Lavrov told him by telephone that Nirenda was pardoned on August 23, 2022, to allow him to join the military. We were informed that Russia allows for prisoners to be provided an opportunity for pardon in exchange for participation in the special military operation, Kakubo said, using Russia's description of the invasion of Ukraine. According to Nirenda's father, his son had been serving a nine-year jail sentence on the outskirts of Moscow for a drug offense when he was conscripted to fight. Nirenda was studying nuclear engineering in Russia when he was convicted of drug offenses in April 2020 and sentenced to nine years in prison. He was later pardoned through a special amnesty on the condition that he participate in the war in Ukraine and was killed while fighting. In November, Wagner chief Prigozhin admitted he recruited Nirenda from prison, claiming the Zambian willingly went to fight against Ukraine. Ukrainian governor Serhii Heide claimed a huge number died in a strike on a hotel where Russian mercenaries were based. We were informed that Russia allows for prisoners to be provided an opportunity for pardon in exchange for participation in the special military operation, Kakubo said, using Russia's description of the invasion of Ukraine.